Hey, Daddy Girly, this is Baby Patty. Come on now. Come on now. Is it a frozen picture? No, it's not frozen. There I am. There you are. It just says that it's an unstable connection. It's connected, it's just unstable. I can see someone's in the room. I can't tell who it is. So just a quick pop-up um, live stream. Richard and I and our little patty cake puppy are at Lieberg Lake Park uh, up the McKenzie out of Springfield, Oregon. <clears throat> Thought we would pop in and say hello and let you see some of the beauty that is up here. I don't know why it's not showing me who is there. Don't lose my dog. Here they are. Can you see yourself? Yeah. Okay. Patty. Come here, Pat Pat. Her leg is underneath, honey. Patty Lake. What are you doing? She's tired, Daddy. She's a little tired. All right. Let's see. Slow Momentum, hello, thank you for coming by. It's a, a small room. We are up at the McKenzie Highway uh, out of Springfield. And uh, it is a beautiful area. This is uh, just a day use area and just showing a little bit. We are making our way to a dock. I'm checking out for disabled people. It's supposed to be a, a universally accessible dock. <clears throat> you know, right where we're at, yes. Well, Lieberg Lake, I grew up on this lake with my brother-in-law and sister when I was a little girl. Um, we used to fish here all the time. He was avid fisherman and hunter. And so, yep, I love this lake. And when we're fishing, we love to come up here and fish. And I brought my walker so that I could walk a little bit which I don't like to do. But anyways, what part of the world are you in right now? Are you home or on the road? Mackenzie River is gorgeous. I'd like to just keep going and hit Sisters. I love Sisters. It's one of the Central Oregon towns I could actually live in because I'm more of an ocean person than a woods person, but I do love, I do love all nature and I love the woods. You're in Illinois, it's okay. A little ways away, but yeah, this is a gorgeous area. All the way up McKenzie, clear over to Bend and beyond. Redmond, yep, beautiful communities. Um, there's not a ton of people here at the lake today. Sisters is a wonderful town. Um, I love the little, there's a little um, Christmas uh, shop there. And it's a really fun little place to go visit and pick up a few trinkets for Christmas, any time of the year. <laughs> any time of the year. Um, a few people, but not a lot. Yep. I just thought I would stop in and see what was going on. And um, I I had said I, I wasn't sure if I would do a live from the park today, but we weren't sure we were coming up here. So, I assume you're probably on the road. And I think it's about 70, 70 degrees, something like that. Very mild breeze. We are picking up in Michigan on the 10th for a... Oh! Oh, my... 
As far as places to go, Alaska is the very top of the bucket list. I mean, there's other places I'd like to see, but um, before my dad died um, this year, a few months back, he passed, and he made me promise that when we go on the road full-time that we will go to Alaska because in his 94 years, that's the only regret he said he had was not getting to Alaska. But instead, he raised six daughters. So that took a full, was a full-time job in and of itself. Um, headed to Louisiana. Hi, Lucky Dog Productions moderator. Thank you for coming by. I'm just doing this quick pop-up. Um, North Pole, Alaska. I watch uh, Ice Road Truckers and a couple every other Alaska show I can get my eyes on. I know where North Pole, Alaska is. Yep. Um, it's around, there's so much. Little, those little towns up there are, oh my God, so sweet. Um, well, you have fun up there. Are you going to work or is it play trip? Um, so lucky dog, I just doing this pop up at this park in Oregon. It's north of, or excuse me, east of Eugene and Springfield, um, about 15 miles from Springfield, about 15 miles, I think, up the McKenzie River, um, delivering an RV. Well, you have, you, you see, it'll be a beautiful drive. It's well worth, I imagine it's well worth it to go up there. Um, RV weekends. Thank you for coming by. Just doing a pop-up live here at um, Lieberg Lake Park um, up the McKenzie River out of Springfield. Um, then sightseeing, of course. Yes. Yes, sir. You guys are going to have a great time up there. Have you ever been before? I, I've never been able to go, but it is going to be a place of destination. Um, so just there is a, supposed to be a universally accessible <clears throat> um dock and so I brought my I brought my walker I broke down and made myself bring my walker so I could do a little bit of walking once yeah it's just there it's the, when they say the last frontier I believe it really is the last frontier on this continent <laughs> other than like South America and, and you know places where humans haven't even touched but I believe there's probably places still in Alaska that humans haven't touched so did you see the boat dock by any chance is there anybody up there oh, okay all right well here's a here's what no I'm showing some people who I am. There's Richard. Yeah, that's me, all right. Well, God, here we go. Try to find it. Richard. Hi. And our little patty cake. Where'd she go? Hi, Patty. Hey, Say hi. Patty cake. <laughs> Best look you can get. She's 20 years old, so she's, she's a little tired. Well, I think I'm going to... Lucky Dog says hi. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna close this and head out back down the trail and just thought somebody might like to see where this is and try to get a little more information about it. Um, it's just beautiful. McKenzie River, it's all gorgeous area if you're in the, in the neighborhood, um, and get a chance to do that. Nursing our travel bug. Hello. Hi. I just doing a pop-up live. Um, up the McKenzie River out of Springfield, Oregon here, about 15 miles or so at Lieberg Park Lake. And it's actually a dam, which I was right about, and guess who was wrong? I said, it's a reservoir, isn't it? And, oh, no, no, no. Well, it is a reservoir. So I don't know what it means to be right. I'm just right. That's all I know. There's a river on this side. There's no river. <laughs> river. Um, it is a beautiful day. Oh, look at the little shelter to put, you know, cook under. And I'm sadly aware I am in portrait mode once again. Okay, well, 
thank you for coming by. I think I'm going to end it so I can start walking back out because it's not a big trek, but with my walker, I have to be careful. <laughs> I hope after this surgery that I'm getting ready to have that it makes it easier for me to walk and I won't need assistance. But if somebody needed a, a wheelchair, to, you know, was in a wheelchair or riding wheelchair, an electric one, this, even though it's little small rocks, this would be perfectly fine. I've got a riding wheelchair and... If I had to use it, I could use it. I just have to get rid of my pride and ego. All right, so you guys have a safe um, drive, uh, slow momentum, and say hello to Alaska for me and my dad. And the rest of you, I'm sure I'll see you soon on a live stream somewhere. All right, guys, bye-bye. Love you. Okay.